starting to strip again. Got a, this is Jeremiah 11 and 1. It says, The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and speak unto the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. So we're supposed to come out here and teach the Israelites the truth about the Bible. Because Jerusalem, that's a people before it's a place. So right now, we're in Jerusalem out here. And say, this is what we're supposed to say unto them. And say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of his covenant. They're allowed to And now shall I say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God in Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of his covenant. So the Bible say, if you don't obey the Bible, that you're going to be cursed. You're going to be cursed. He said, What shall I command your fathers in the day I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt? From the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice and do them according to all which I command you. So shall ye be my people, and I will be your God. So that's what people's problem are. They don't know, they don't, they don't even want to know the most high. They, they say God doesn't exist. The average person will say God don't exist now. That's what's popular. Jeremiah 11 and 5 that I may perform the oath which I have sworn unto your fathers to give them a land flowing with milk and honey as it is this day well that's talking about the kingdom that's coming up real soon then answered I and said so be it O Lord then the Lord said unto me proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets so the Bible said you're supposed to teach the Bible in the streets if you call yourself a Christian you're supposed to be teaching in the streets but these people ain't teaching in the streets. That's because they're not Christians. Because they're devils. He said, for I early, excuse me, uh, I'm going to read that again. Then the Lord said unto me, proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah. So Columbus is one of the cities of Judah. They got all kind of Judites in Columbus. And in the streets of Jerusalem saying, so that's how we supposed to teach this in the streets. It didn't say, you're supposed to go hide up in a building and keep teaching the same people every week in your congregation. I mean, you can do that too if you want to teach your, your people, but uh, you're supposed to be on the streets teaching this word, man. I appreciate that. I'll go ahead. This is Luke 14 and 21. So that the servant came and showed his Lord these things, then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes there it is again. of the city. That's all through the Bible. You keep reading the Bible, she's going, uh, keep saying, go to the streets. Go to the streets. It didn't say go door to door. It didn't say to lock yourself up in a building. It said go to the streets. And bring in hither the poor, and the maimed, and the and the halt, and the blind. So that's what we're looking for. Like uh, Matthew, the fifth chapter said, uh, blessed are the meek. It said, blessed are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? So we're out here looking for the people that, that sign the cry for all the abominations that's done in this wicked ass country. I know a lot of people hate this world. So the people that hate this world, that's who we're here for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and there's not many of those people. Because the scriptures say love not the world. We're not supposed to be a part of this world. So our kingdom's not a part of this world. So our kingdom's not of this world. The, he the Heavenly Father is not dealing with this American, demonic, satanic kingdom, okay? What's up, man? You like, go ahead. Uh, oh, that was, that was on. Okay, you want to read that, Jeremiah? Where you at, Jeremiah? 11. 11. Uh, you can start at 11 and 6. I think we read Jeremiah all the time. Jeremiah is being put to Become one of my favorites. He's dealing with these knuckleheads out here, man. These backwards, stiff-necked people. Should start at six. Yep. Jeremiah eleven and six. Then the Lord said unto said unto me, proclaim all these words in the city of Judah. So I said all the words. He said you can't pick and choose. Either. I mean, and what does that mean when he said declare all these words? What what words? The Bible, the laws of the Bible. 
I mean, you gotta follow the laws of the Bible. You can't be eating pork, commit adultery, being a faggot. You can't do none of that. You go on. Proclaim all these words in the city of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant and do them. So y'all gotta listen to the covenant of the Lord, not the covenant of your television. You go on. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day. I bet most people don't even know the story uh, when the Israelites came up out of Egypt. A lot of people don't even know what an Israelite is. That's how gone these people are. They don't even know where they came from. They don't know where they're going. <laughs> they don't know where they came from. They don't know where they're going. That's what you would call somebody that's lost, right? Don't know where they came from, don't know where they're going. That means you're lost. Oh, that's that buck out of me. He's always, he's an old fool kid. He opened up the no better. He's probably getting all kinds of pussy too. That's a fool that's opening up the no better right there. Yeah, don't give him no love with the camera. That's a wicked fool. That's a wicked fool. He don't deserve to be on camera. He's, he's in one of our other videos. That's the pride of a house thing. Right there. These people love that. Look, but how great is Ohio State? Y'all can't even go to a bowl game this year. So how great is that shit, man? And, and the, uh, the, head, the new head coach for Ohio State, he's an antichrist and a devil worshiper. He said, he said the team's not allowed to have prayer no more. That's right. He said he canceled all the... What did he, what, the even though I know they, they had little church services, Right. The football team went to and I know that church service was bullshit But that's not the point. It's all about principle. It's that he thought it was some, he thought it was dealing with God So he didn't want his team to have nothing to do with it. You know, they they, they totally despise the Bible man. Just like Jim Tressel the last coach He said he had no problem with homosexuals being on his team I'm, I'm sure the new coach is the same. What's that new coach's name? I don't want to say. We don't, he, they think they're going to shake them curses. That's all. Oh, that's Erica Badu. Oh, that's Paul Tyrone. At least she got her head covered. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah, nah, but she's straight Nubian. Queen. She's going to say she's from Nubia. No kind of madness. You got little ISIS statues at her house, little horse statues. Pyramids everywhere. Yeah, you got pyramids. You got, oh, she got the Ankh. She got the, you know what I mean? Little ignorant ass people, man. That's why I agree that, man, because y'all are ignorant. Y'all ain't listening to the covenant of the Lord. For I earnestly protested to your father in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt. And so the Bible said that the Lord brought us out of the land of Egypt. So why we got fools out here talking about the Egyptian? And when you say you Egyptian, that means you worship crocodile gods, you worship blue gods, you worship uh, what, the, the falcon god, you worship all kind of animals. Uh, you worship a hippopotamus god. What kind of dumb ass shit is that, man? You should Pharaoh. They love Pharaoh. Yeah, then they say the Pharaoh's god on earth. Oh, they say the Pharaoh's Horus. You know, read that again, bro. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt. So the Lord brought us out of Egypt. Okay, but now we're back in Egypt again in slavery again because America is the modern day Egypt. That's why there's a pyramid on the back of your dollar because America is the modern day Egypt. And that, you see it on the back of a dollar got an all seeing eye. That's the eye of Horus. And that goes back to the ancient Egyptians. And America is the most wickedest country on the face of the earth. So you gonna tell me you down with this shit, man? So this Egyptologist sounds stupid. Right. Keep going. Rising early and protesting, saying, "Obey my voice," yet they obeyed not, nor so, inclined their ear. So that's why we come out here, we teach the Bible, and then we tell people the laws. We're like, "Oh, you can't eat pork," and they'll be like, "Yes, I can." They'll be like, "I eat whatever I want." And see, look, you got homosexuals walking around. They don't obey the voice of the Lord. Keep going. And then they laugh about it. It's all good. It's all, let them be homosexuals. Let them express their homosexuality, whatever. Let, it, let, them, let them express their faggotry. They got the right to do that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, 
Let them. The scriptures say, "Let the uh, filthy be filthy," and they sure as hell is filthy, because the Lord's going to destroy them. You know what I mean? So that's a, that's the going to destroy them by pain. Yeah, pain. And before they get the destruction, they're going to get a little the torture. Yeah. They're going to get. You know what I'm saying? I'll go ahead and, you know the Lord, they probably already got diseases. Because if you're a faggot, you're not living a happy life. If you got diseases, your dick's probably all fucked up. Infection happy. Motherfuckers uh, fucking each other in the ass, exploding each other's assholes. Nothing but doo doo chase. They got to go to the hospital, they have the doctor implanting a new asshole, a new colon or something. They're going to the doctor, get their shit stitched up. I mean, so let them be a faggot. <clears throat> Go ahead. That's disgusting. That's right. Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined their ear, but walk everyone in the imaginations of their evil heart. There's our homies right there. It's some, that's just crazy up, liberals. What's up? <laughs> yeah, that was the lunatic liberals. Therefore will I bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did feel not. They don't. That's why people's problem, they don't want to follow the commandments of the Most High. Everybody just want to walk around uh, like saying they are liberal, saying they have freedom. They can do whatever they want. That's why this world's so fucked up. That's why there's so much pain and misery on the earth, because of you. You gotta look at yourself first. Keep going. Yo, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> terrible. You doing terrible. Yeah, life sucks. And the Lord said unto me, a conspiracy is found among the men of Judah. So there's a conspiracy afoot. You go up. And among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And really, Jerusalem's a people before it's a place. So these people out here, they're conspiring against the Most High. And that's that great conspiracy. That great conspiracy is Israel, the children of the Most High, not following the commandments, breaking the covenant. That's that conspiracy. You go up. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers. Yeah, they're doing the same thing they wicked ass fathers did. Keep going. Same shit. Which refused to hear my words. And they went after other gods to serve them, the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Like I said, we got a lot of these uh, black people talking about they ain't Egyptian. You got these uh, women talking about she a Nubian queen. That, I guess that means you're a heathen. Because the Bible said uh, they're going into slavery. The Bible said Egyptians are going into slavery. So if you're an Egyptian, I guess you're going into slavery. You go. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. Therefore, so thus said the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. So the Bible said, the Holy Bible said, he gonna bring evil upon you. He said, if you're not keeping his word and his covenant, and he's going to bring evil upon you. Keep going. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Uh, so then y'all going to pray to the Lord. In the time of your trouble, in the time of your trouble, you're going to pray, and then the Lord's not going to hear you. Keep going. Then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense. But yeah. they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. Because all these people worship false gods, all these so-called Christians, they're really pagans, man. They follow a pagan doctrine. Worshiping the Queen of Heaven, Virgin Mary. That is all paganism, man. You go, the churches are set up like uh, uh, pagan temples. You, every, every church you go in looks like a forest. Hmm. You got statues of Mary, you got statues of uh, uh, Caesar Bozier oh, on the wall. Goodness. Worshiping false idols. That's why America is the kingdom of Satan. If y'all don't believe me, I'll tell you the truth that America is controlled by devil worshippers and pagans. That's why the days of the week are named after uh, the days of the week are named after Norse gods. Did you know that? Do you know the Wednesday is named after Odin? That's because we live in a devil worshipping society. We live in a world that's based upon heathenry and paganism. You know what I'm saying? That the names of some of the months are named after gods. January is named after the god Janus, the false god. But people's good with that. They say they're Christians, though. How come we got a month called January? Why the hell we got a month named March, named after Mars, the god of war? I mean, isn't that about as demonic as it gets? Then they go to church on Sunday. You worship 
the sun on Sunday because Sunday worships the worship represents the worship of the sun. Mm. So so we live in the most possible demonic society that could ever possibly be in existence. It can't get no more evil than this. That's right. I'll go ahead. I'm gonna go to Proverbs for a minute. We're gonna go back to that. This I just is always doing the same thing. That's all good. Proverbs 1 and uh, 19. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy and gain, which take away the life of the owners thereof. Wisdom cries without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. Yeah, that goes with what we were saying earlier. You got to come out in the streets and teach the Bible. Because we have wisdom. So we're wise men. So if, you're, if, you, if you have wisdom, that means you got to share your wisdom. You can't, what, what's this, what, what, is, what good does having wisdom do if you're not sharing? There you go. She cries in the chief places of conflict. Oh, that's why if you had a lot of money, if you had a lot of money, wouldn't you want to give your family some of that money to help them? Well, wisdom is greater than money. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you, so you helping your family when you give them this wisdom. So, yep. That's what it is. And scriptures, uh, the Bible's known as great riches. I gonna get a scripture for that real quick, man. Just to back you up. Go ahead and read that. I'm gonna get it. She cried in the chief places of concourse, in the openings of the gate, in the city she uttered her word, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and the fools hate knowledge? So the Bible said a fool hates knowledge. And what's knowledge? The knowledge is the Bible. So if you hate the Bible, what does that mean? That means you're a fool. That's what it means. Cause we got a lot of people out here that got a problem with the Bible. And they, I mean, we got retarded people who don't know anything about history or anything. They say the Bible's a fairy tale. When the only study they ever did was watch the History Channel. That's how stupid these people are. Keep going. Stupid as fuck. Turn you at my reproof. Yeah, they're like, Jesus was gay. I'm like, what's your proof? I seen it on the History Channel. Yeah. Oh, Mary Magdalene's the wife, the wife of Jesus. Now, where's that at in the Bible? People are dummies, man. They're saying they found some, uh, like last week or a couple weeks ago, they said they found some ancient books of, uh, I can't remember if it was Ecclesiastes or Proverbs or something. But they saying in the books, they say, oh, this is bullshit. But they say in the books they found that it was Jesus' wife that we were talking about. Oh, I seen that. I you seen that? It. Yeah, it's like a little piece like this big. Right. Bullshit. Well, actually, I heard that they found out it was a fake. Right. They proved that it was fake. Crazy, man. We come up with all kind of madness, man. Yeah, it's a shame when people get all their knowledge from the History Channel. Man. History Channel, man. I mean, they got some good shows, don't get me wrong, but... Discovery Channel. You gotta dig a little deeper than that, man. You gotta try a little harder than that. Well, turn you at my report. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Oh, he said, I will make known my words unto you. So by us teaching, the Lord is using us to, to make his word known. You know what I'm saying? If the people, they gonna know his word, trust me. They gonna get it. We are gonna force it on them. Keep going. Because I have called and ye refused. And you see, and nobody can stop us from being out here. We got all kind of protesters protesting against the government. They get locked up left and right. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord allows us to be out here to push this truth. That's right. What's up, bro? Listen, I'm I am the destruction. The Lord's on his way. Believe in the Lord, man. They call Jesus. Yeah. What's your nationality? I'm, uh, my parents are Nigerian. I'm going out here. You're still an Israelite, though, can't you tell yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of Nigerians. Well, that's on the, yeah, a lot of Nigerians are Israelite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Israel was scattered amongst all the nations. I got, you know I got a saying? sign back with it. They were scattered amongst these nations. But, uh, you know, we went in one school. Uh, Hamites. You know, that's what those Nigerians are. Hamites. Well, that's their biblical name, Ham. Yeah, you know, you know about Ham? You know about Noah and the flood? Yeah. You know about that? Let me read Jack something. Jack got a long history in Nigeria. That's right. Let me read something. They was running shit. So I'm going to take a minute. Bro. son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, 
and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races. You know what the word progenitor means? A, a forefather. Progenitor. Right. Progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. See that? It said uh, Ham is the, the the guy who all the dark races come from, except the Negro. So what is that talking about? Except the... Read, read it again. Read it all the way through. Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Canaanites, wait, I'm sorry, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. See that? So the Egyptians, they're not, okay, the black people in America, they're not Egyptians. They're known as Negroes. All throughout history, they've been known as Negroes. There's a clear distinction made between a Negro and an Egyptian and, and a Canaanite or a Hamite, okay? So the uh, the so-called black people in America are Israelites. Most of the black people that were living on the west coast of Africa, the north coast of Africa were Israelites. Okay, you know about the Moors? They were Israelites. John, you know back in the day, you know Africa before it was Muslim, it used to be northern Africa, western Africa, before it was Muslim, it used to be all Christian. You know that? Hey, don't, make, don't worry about all that. Oh yeah, don't worry about this that. This world is uh, full of confusion, like uh, our names, for example. Like the names uh, 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 Negro. Uh, yeah, that's not a... African American. African. Yeah. You know, all the names was just out, put out there, pushed out there to confuse you. Yeah, it was a made you know up name. Was oh. a, yeah, it was a made up name because everybody has a biblical identity. You know what I'm saying? The only nations that actually, this is, in the Bible, there's no such thing as an American. Okay? That's not in the Bible. Go ahead. Listen to this. This is, uh, this is Revelation 79. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindred and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Pretty much specifying that Israel is coming from all these nations. Yeah. Know? You know who Israel is? Who's Israel? No, 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 no. no. So we got to get we gotta, Revelation 2 is mandatory. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I, I, I get uh, I got you guys. That's always true. Yeah, that's why I'm oh, I was just going to scatter. That's all. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, because I'm going to break it down like this. But I asked you who Israel was. Uh -huh. Now, Israel uh, was a man. Originally, his name was Jacob. He was an actual man that lived. You know about the story about Jacob, Jacob in the Bible? Yeah. Okay, his name was changed to Israel. Okay, but he had 12 sons. Okay, and they was all in the Bible. That was the chosen people in the Bible. But Israel, they was being wicked, so the Lord scattered Israel among all nations. He scattered them. Okay. That's why we don't know where Israelites are. That's why you're saying that you're Nigerian. Nigerian. There's no such thing as Nigerian. Right. Niger just means black. Right. You know what I mean? So you know, notice most of the Nigerian people, well, then again, there's a lot of them over there, so they probably do like it. Yeah, a lot of them, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, there's a lot of Christians over there still. But, Christians, but right. during the, uh, but during the, but after the, because originally it was all so-called Christians over there, until the Muslims came to them. That's right. They forced them to be They forced them to it's Isaiah 11 and 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Afro and from Cush and from Elam. Yeah, so some of our people, you know the Cushites are, right? Those are Ethiopians. Those, those, aren't, those are heathens, they're not Israelites. But some of our people are scattered over there. And from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Hanaf, and from the islands of the sea. The islands, yeah. So they scattered all over. So there's Israelites scattered down there in the Pacific Islands, over in the Samoan Islands and all that. Because we're the most numerous people on the planet Earth. I'll do that. Uh, oh, because that guy's, I'm going to get that revelation for him. Oh, you're about those two from yes, the right now. Well, they, you know, that's what the world thinks. They think those people over there, that land of Israel, they think they're the real Jews. You know, but the Bible is saying they're not. Yeah, they're not you know Jews. what I mean? Actually, pretty much what they are, they're identical. 
you know, just doubling up, putting the news how people are stealing people's credit cards and IDs and stealing their identity. Well, they're the main identity thief, the so-called Edom, Edomites, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you want, I get it real quick, I got it. I'll read it, I like reading the scripture. Is this a fast scripture? Do you check read the Bible? Yeah. Do you read it? Let me know if you ever read this one before. Revelation 2 and 9. I know that works in tribulation and poverty, okay? But thou art rich. Because we're the only ones in this world that's struggling, that's on the bottom. You know, and we ain't got shit. We don't own shit. But we got this. You know? This is real riches right here. This is it. This is the real riches. That's right. This is gold and silver. Because I, I know that works in tribulation of poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy, blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Remember those people over there? They're the only ones on the planet Earth calling themselves Jews. They're the only ones. He said, I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews, but are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. She calls us Satan. They're the only ones going around saying they're the holy people. When they're just, when they, when, as a whole, they, they're a holy people that's sucking their baby's penis. When they circumcise their child. Did you know that? That's what they do. They suck their baby's penis. Would you suck your son's penis after you circumcise them? They, well, that's a practice of theirs. And they get mad at you if you say it's wrong. Now, what nation of people, what holy people is going to be sucking penises? Whether it's a grown man or a baby. You know what I mean? No holy people is going to be sucking no damn penis. We suck titties. It, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We love, I like it, sucking no, titties. But in fact, Jews got laws too. They don't follow the Bible. They're not the real Jews. They eat them like they're the devil. Look, they got their own Bible called the Talmud. And in the, in the Talmud it says you can suck another man's dick. That's what they practice it, man. They eat, you know, they talk about this shit with the culture pig. Plus over there in where it's Tel Aviv, they got a city called Peak City. What's it called, Peak City? It's called Peak City. It's like a beach where they go, it's a new beach. A new beach. You know, you can walk around, see the motherfucking balls and shit. Yeah, because the real Jews was, uh, was all dark skinned anyway. They was all black. So how the hell could they be the Jews and there's not a single black person over here? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because the Bible said they was black. But how the hell they ain't a single not, The scripture says, you know, yeah. Did you understand they people black? The people can't get lighter through the years, but they ain't got a single, not a single drop of blackness up in there. Those are pasty. I mean they're the pastiest of the pastiest. <laughs> the sun hates them literally. Yeah. Oh, this is real studying, man. But let me tell you something, man. You going to this university, right? You wasting your time, bro. Yep. You wait, literally, literally, you are wasting your time, man. Well, ain't no teacher. Is it rich? For what? Teaching you to be a rich slave. That's what this university teaches you to be a rich slave. When you get a degree, ain't no work out here, man. That revelation was too much for them. They don't give. Yeah, yeah. Too much for them. Yeah. Just Let's go right back to it. And I think it disturbed people. They kind of. Yeah, they kind of fucked people. It, it messed with his comfort, comfort zone. Jeremiah 11, right? That's why people don't like to get knocked out of their comfort zone, man. It starts getting real uncomfortable for them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, this is too much controversy. It's too much. You know, this is, this is too much. I can't take it. I got to get out of here. Yeah, yeah. That's, why, that's the main reason why people don't want to hear the words of the Bible. That's right. They want to be comfortable. They always want to be at ease. But the scriptures say that you can't be comfortable. Hey, the scriptures say this is not your rest. That's right. It's actually, the scripture actually says that. So this, this is not your rest. It says this is, is not polluted. Your, this is polluted. Yeah, you're going to take a rest and lay down in filth. You know what I'm saying? This is not our rest. This is not our world right here. You know what I'm saying? This world's going to be destroyed. Going right back to Proverbs, bro. Proverbs uh, 1, and, 1 and 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you because I have called and ye refuse. That's how we out here, the Lord got us out here calling, but y'all keep refusing. Keep going. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. That's why people they don't regard us. They act like we don't even, we're not even here. They try to block us out. Like, I don't want to hear that Bible shit. I got to go study. Yeah. Well, I got to go, I got to go to school. 
but ye have said it not, all my counsel, and with none of my reproof, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So the Bible said, when you're getting jacked up, that the Lord's going to laugh at you. That's in the Bible. God said, when all kind of evil and destruction comes upon you, he's going to laugh at you for not following his commandments. Too. Yeah, we're going to laugh too. That's a good one. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. He's, he says he's going to mock you. Not only is the Lord going to laugh at you, <laughs> but he's going to make fun of you while you're getting jacked up. That's right. But that's what, if you don't follow the commandments of the Lord, you deserve to get jacked up and you deserve to get laughed at. They're going to learn to fear the Lord then. Yeah, that, that's the only time. But then they ain't going to hear you then. But then when you pray, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, when you get jacked up, now you start praying, then the Lord ain't dealing with you. That's right. If you're the Lord, yeah. Lord, it's real. Lord, it's real. The Lord don't want to hear that shit, man. When your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction come as a whirlwind. That destruction comes as a whirlwind. What's that talking about? That's talking about those missiles. Those missiles gonna come through like that. They're gonna create a lot of wind with some nuclear wind. Mm -hmm. And then the Lord's gonna laugh at you, man. Mm -hmm. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. Oh yeah, that's like I said. Mm -hmm. When people see all this hell and chaos breaking out, when they see race riots breaking out, then all of a sudden they pray and they, they're searching for the Bible. You know what I mean? They can't fight, you know? That's right. It's, just gonna hold and hug the Bible, not even read it. They're just gonna hug it. They ain't read it so long, they're gonna go looking for it. They ain't gonna be able to know where they don't know where it is. I had I had women tell me that before. It's like I was so scared that one night I just held my Bible in my arms while I slept the whole night. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, did you read it? Like, no, I just needed the power of it. The spirit. Of like, what the man? I just felt its spirit. Yeah, yeah I just felt the spirit of it. <laughs> People are crazy, the spirit man. Of Satan. That's all they feel. That's crazy. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I would not answer. So, if you're one of those type of people that don't care about the Bible, you ain't never reading your Bible, you don't even care about the Most High, you just all about having a good time, doing your own thing. So the Lord's gonna laugh at you when he destroys you, when he brings destruction on you. Like when these women get raped, they're like, oh, I can't believe I got raped. But the Lord's laughing at you. Mm. When your little kid gets hit by a truck when he's playing in the street, the Lord's gonna laugh at you. That's the Lord that did that. That's the Lord that killed all them little babies, man. That's right. It's not the devil. That's the Lord bringing all that death. That's right. He got money. That's why the Lord's gonna laugh at them. Look, when when destruction comes, you're gonna be looking to get far away from that motherfucker because he's gonna be he's gonna be screaming like a bitch. But that time she'd be already used property, so right. she's just gonna be a, just one of them all regular hoes. Mm. A prostitute. But I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. So, so when you know, like when people see us out here teaching, because we're out here doing a good work, trying to get this, well, we're out here giving this truth to our brother. But when, when, when these heathens reject it, read that again. Then shall they call upon me, but I would not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, for that they hated knowledge. And they, did not choose the fear of the Lord. Don't choose the fear of the Lord. So I mean, that's good for them. They're going to get messed up, man. That's right. That's right. It's just a matter of time. It ain't going to be too long from now. Like, we always seeing crazy stuff happen to people that have a problem with it. You see my neighborhood, the houses catch on fire all the time. Bitch got stabbed in the neck. People getting kicked out. All kinds of crazy stuff happen to people. Losing the home, yeah. Losing the car, losing the jobs. You know, it's the Lord to blame. <laughs> Get mad at somebody, get mad at the Lord. You're already hating. You're already rejecting. Wicked motherfuckers. They were none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. They, uh, yeah, people, they, they get mad when we correct them. They despise it. They despise reproof. I mean, it takes a real man to correct yourself and admit that you're wrong. A real man, that's right. I want to know if I'm wrong. I don't want to be saying nothing, you know? I want to make sure I'm on point.
Yeah, cause like when I when I first learned the the, the Bible, you know, uh, watching the videos of the elders, I mean, in a way they was reproving because all, all kinds. I was being wicked as hell. Yeah, we all going off. But you gotta accept. You gotta know what you was doing wrong. Accept that you was a damn heathen. Oh yeah, my dad used to always call us heathen. Why you damned heathens? <laughs> That's just funny, man. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Yeah, they're filled with their own devices. Yeah, well, most people, all they care about right now is like football, sports, a bunch of dumb shit, man. They don't have any kind of real knowledge. You know, the average person ain't got no kind of knowledge whatsoever. All they got knowledge about is some dumb shit. Shit that don't even matter. It, people be experts What's up, on. Man? What's up, bro? People be experts on rappers. People be experts on movies and rappers. They expert on hood shit. They, they don't, but what kind of fucking knowledge is that, man? Oh, go ahead. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely. Say, it said the prosperity of fools. Because the Lord, the Lord, just, just to make things interesting, the Lord gives all kind of money and wealth unto these fools, man. You know? Okay. He, he, that's just to, you know, kind of mess with us. The test up. And then they turn out to be cool. Because you ain't supposed to get jealous of these fools and their money, man. Well, shit they got. Nothing they, when you see them with fly ass car, it don't impress me at all. You know, I could give fucking less. Yeah, all that material. Raggly ass, junky shit. Good. Give a fuck how fly I look. It's just a bunch of junky, junky shit. Yep, it's all trash. Yep. But whoso hearken <laughs> unto me shall dwell safely and oh. shall be quiet from the fear of evil. So the Bible says if you hearken unto the words of the Lord, you're going to be all right. And you're going you to get delivered. Obviously. I like the Jeremiah. Um, Therefore, thus said the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. So the Bible said, if you're not following the commandments of the Lord, He gonna bring evil upon you, in which you will not be able to escape. <laughs> and so they shall cry unto me. But it, you, you're gonna cry unto the Lord, Keep on. I would not hearken unto them. He ain't gonna hear you. He ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> Y'all won't be wicked as can be, but when the Lord's destroying you, all of a sudden you're righteous and you're praying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Y'all supposed to be on the, if you care about the Lord, you be on the streets teaching the truth. Man. About all this wickedness going on around yeah. Yeah, if people really love the Lord, they'd be complaining. They'd be complaining all the time. The only people with a vexed spirit is going to be out here going to smoke, man. That's why, I mean, it's like this. If, if you if you living in your house and your bedroom's all dirty, and you just keep complaining, say, damn, my room's dirty as fuck, yo. Like, well, this shit's dirty as fuck. Mm -hmm. But you just sit around just complaining about how dirty it is all day. Sure and not do shit about it. All you got to do is clean it. That's what I'm saying. So, so if you complain all the time, you need to go do something about that. So if you really kind of love the Lord, that means you actually got to come out on the streets and do the work. You got to put the work in. You know what I'm saying? Right. You want to complain about your mama being a baby mama being a Complain about the injustice going on with the, with the judicial system. You know? You got all kind of shit to complain about. Complain about all these damn antichrists out here. That's what you should be mad about the most. People blaspheming in the Most High. They say the Most High don't even exist. They ain't following the Ten Commandments no more. This is totally backwards. That's so the scriptures say you're supposed, you're supposed to complain. You're supposed to cry aloud and spare not. The Bible say to lift naked with that. Can you get that? The Bible commands you to go out in the streets and lift up your voice and to teach the people. There ain't no way around that, man. So if, you, if you're not doing the work, you, you're not a man of the Lord. Well, you're the devil. That's all I can say. Oh, that's what I say. And the Lord ain't want no excuses either. 
There ain't no excuses in the side of the lure, man. Okay, there ain't no excuses. He don't know what an excuse is. He ain't trying to hear that shit. What did you, you try to get? Uh, uh, so long since we got that one. <laughs> <laughs> I say 58. I'll give it though. Oh, it's 50. 58, eh? It's been a minute since we read that one. That used to be the one that used to come out every five seconds. Okay, that's it. Uh, Isaiah 58. Cry aloud. Spare not. So the Bible said we're supposed to come out in the streets and cry aloud. That means to talk with a loud voice. I know y'all get intimidated when men speak with a loud voice. Cause nowadays everybody, and, and that's why you're a homosexual. <laughs> you gonna be destroyed. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. So the Bible said, lift up your voice like a trumpet. You go on. And show my people their transgressions. But how do you show the people their transgressions? You do it with the Bible. You, you got to show them what the laws in the Bible say. Keep going. In the house of Jacob, their sins. The house of Jacob. So the Lord's only dealing with the Israelites. Not only that, but only the elected Israel. So we're only out here for the elected Israel. That's it. We don't care about no one else. If you're not an Israelite, we don't even care about you. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to go into slavery. It's going to be into that. You know what I mean? Real simple. I got another precept. Job 7 and 11. Therefore, I will not refrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. Now, yeah, we complain in the bitterness of our soul. Cause I, yeah, I'm a bitter person, man. I'm bitter, I'm angry. Man, I am angry, man. I do got a lot of hate, you know? I got a lot of love, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. I got a lot of both. I'm not a fucking robot. We're not robots. No, you know what I'm saying? Real people have feelings. They love and hate. If you just love all the time, you just a real weirdo. That means you're on some psychotropic drugs or something. Yeah. You know, if you just all happy all the time, all lovey-dovey all the time, that means something's wrong with you, man. You're, you're probably on PCP or mushrooms. That, that ain't real life, okay? That don't sound like reality to me. Life is not good. Life is not fun. Like Job, in the book of Job, Job cursed the day he was born. He said, curse the day I was born. He said, the hell with this shit, man. And hey, but people celebrating birthdays, you know what I'm saying? You damn heathens. The Bible said, curse be the day you was born. It didn't say to celebrate it. Because life is, we're living under curses right now. It's a curse to be alive in this shit, man. To live out in America with all this wickedness going on, that's a curse. See, my children have to go to a public school, a government-ran uh, zombie camp. That's a curse. To have a baby mama that's a hoe, that's a curse. That's a curse for the most high. That's the Lord that did that. That's the, that's the Lord that shot your children up with them vaccinations with, uh, with all them with mercury in it. That's the Lord that gave your baby autism. That's right. It's all part of them curses. For not following the, all you gotta do is follow the commandments. You, get, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. But soon the Lord, he gonna put a law in your heart. Ain't no way gonna break the commandments. That's in Jeremiah too. It's like Jeremiah 32nd chapter. When we in the kingdom, everybody gonna follow the law. They gonna follow the law perfectly. They ain't gonna be no more. So, you gonna be good. Yeah, it's Back to Jeremiah 11 chapter, 11 and um, 12. Then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense, but they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. Well, that goes, you know, I always gotta get on them Mexicans, man. The Latinos, they love burning incense to them, uh, to them false idols, to the little angel, naked angels. Them, them, uh, the Latinos got the little angel statues, little butt naked angels, they be burning incense to it. <laughs> when, uh, the Mexicans burn incense to a dead gangster. How Jesus felt, felt, how Jesus felt, what's that dude's name? Jesus felt very dead. I can never say that. Yeah. Plus, they, uh, they been worshiping the Mexicans, they worship, uh, that did all the Latinos. All the Catholics, now you just gonna say that because I tell you do it too. 
and the Irish. All the Catholics, bro. All the Catholics, they in the idol worship. They be burning incense to the Queen of Heaven. They got that little Mary statue. You can go to the store and get a Mary candle with, with, with uh, uh, Lady Guadalupe on it. That's right. You know what I mean? They sell them at every store now. They used to never see that shit. Every store you, you go buy a little Mary candle. So they all, that's really, that works, that represents Isis, the Why Queen of Heaven. That shit. That's an Egyptian goddess, man. And that's what Jeremiah is talking about. Because the ancient Egyptians was worshiping the Egyptian goddesses too. They worship the Queen of Heaven, Isis. So, so pretty much all these wicked 12 tribes is going to fuck off. Yep. Being wicked is all every, every tribe got their own sort of wickedness. To all, them. all of them added their own flavor to it. Yep. They got their own branch of wickedness. <laughs> they got their own dialect of wickedness. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Crazy. You got 12 different flavors of wickedness. <laughs> For according to the number of thy cities. Uh, 13 actually. It's actually 13 tribes. Oh, go ahead. For according to the number of thy cities were they uh, were they gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem have ye set up altars to that shameful thing, <laughs> even altars to burn incense oh, that shame, to Baal. That shame, what's that shameful thing? Your neighborhood church is a shameful thing. Your neighborhood pork chop eating preacher, that's a shameful thing. That's a despicable sight, man. When I look at them, them fat, Lying bastards, I get sick to my stomach, That's man. Right. You put curses up on them. I do put curses on them. I pray that the Lord destroys them. Well, we'll curse. We throw curses all day anyway. We don't six. And it's in the Bible. The Bible commands you to throw curses up on people. Continuously. We're crying into the heavenly Father. Yeah, uh, I just, we're crying to God. Yep. Galatians 1 and 8 says, if someone brings another gospel, let him be a curse. It says to curse them. Mm -hmm. That's clear as day. We don't receive no wicked shit. So you know these so-called Christians, they going way off. They don't know, they, have, they ain't got the slightest clue about what's going on, about what's really going on. Because the average Christian in the church, they don't know nothing, they don't study. They're not at home with a concordance and dictionaries, encyclopedias up on the internet, mm -hmm. up till five in the morning studying, can't see no more. That's right. Computer screen, screen making you go blind. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's right. The average dumb Christian ain't studying like that, man. Yep. They don't know any scriptures. I talk to them all the time. They don't know no scriptures, man. Yep. And I'm not even trying to boast like I know a lot of stuff. Just being the truth. These people don't really know nothing, man. Being a spiritual man calling it the way it is. That's right. You know what I'm saying? For real. Here you go. I got a sticker for that. What's up, man? Hey. 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 Uh, Revelation 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Well, the Bible said, blessed is he that readeth. So if you're not reading, that means you're not blessed. I got another scripture to pack you up on that one. You know, these people don't care less. They're, they're, I mean, their spiritual is uh, uh, just holding the Bible, embracing their Bible, laying in the bed, or going to the pork chop pastor, you know, and, uh, and and hearing the words of somebody that's sleep right along with them. What kind of message you gonna get from a fool that's a fool? I mean, they're teaching fools. A fool teaching fool. Yeah, these preachers don't even study the Bible. What they do, they like you were saying, they got the uh, they got the real expensive Bibles that have lessons already oh, played out. Right, in. right, right. So they, they just read them from a script that the publisher published in the Bible. That's right. You know, they got preacher Bibles you can buy, and they already got lessons in the back you can teach your congregation. Yep. So you don't have to, you know, really know nothing. You can just wing it. I mean, it's not, it's not easy to you know, fool a fool. I mean, it is it's easy. Not it's, it's not hard. Excuse me. My English is all messed up. You got it, bro. The I've, scripture says you <laughs> I've been studying like all, studying like all the kind of different languages. I've been speaking backwards, saying opposite words. I'm all messed up. Bro. Right. I do right. that because you know, like, what you speak in Spanish or you speak in Hebrew. Like, if you say so, like in English, I'll say. They got a big nose, but in the other language, they got a nose big. It'd be backwards. So I'm, I'm wearing it messed up sometimes. I say, I just start speaking all crazy. I was, it's all good though. I was watching this one lady on YouTube. She was a reporter, she was a news reporter, doing a news report. And while she started doing the news, she just started to have a stroke. Oh, and it, all of her words were just like, blah, 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 blah. I mean, she, she looked good too. And she was having a stroke? A real strip? Yeah, but she, she talked. It, not, not, nothing she said made sense. That's the most high guy. That shit was hilarious. The most high stuff. 
He only does that to a weekend. So I pray I don't start talking that retarded. I was about to get second Timothy. These people don't study. Oh hell no. You know they don't know what studying is. I got a scripture for that. Second Timothy two and fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto God. Now this is the scripture saying this. Study to show thyself approved. Man, you can't tell your grandma don't study. Hell your grandma. Man, everybody's saying, oh my grandma know the Bible real good. That bitch don't know shit. I bet your Bible don't even know who the first Caesar was. <laughs> even though his name's Caesar, she still don't know it. 